If you are here today, then it most likely means you're looking to add some colorful eggs to your egg basket, and the Easter egger is going to be an amazing addition. We have a few here at our homestead, and I absolutely love them. We got them for a variety of different reasons, and as we've had them, I've loved them even more, and definitely as we grow out our flock, I would love to continue adding them to that. They're primarily known for their blue colored egg, and this is because of the mixture of the two chickens that actually formed the Easter egg, and that is the Americana and the Americana, and I'll put their names somewhere on the screen because I'm definitely botching up the pronunciation, so sorry about that. And this is primarily because of a pigmentation in their liver called a cyan, which is going to help produce this blue colored egg, which is actually going to be blue from the outside all the way into the inside. Today, the Easter egger is known for more than just their blue colored egg. They actually have a variety of different colored eggs. So they have blue, green, pink, and even purple colored eggs. All of our Easter eggers actually lay a variety of blue, bluish green, green eggs. But it is interesting to note that whatever color your hen is laying is the color that they will lay the entirety of their life. It may change a little bit in shade, but that's going to be primarily the color. They're not going to go from laying a blue egg the next day to a pink egg. So the best way to get a really colorful egg basket is going to be to actually get multiple different Easter egg red chickens and add them to your flock. So you're probably going to need to get a lot of them. <laughs> But what's really great about them is they're not only great for laying eggs and they're going to lay a good amount of eggs, usually around four per week or around 200 per year. And obviously, dependent on the season, they may slow down, not lay them as often. Chickens usually do not lay eggs as much in the winter just because they are conserving their energy in order to stay warmer. And the Easter egg is a really great hardy bird. So they are going to do really well in both warm temperatures and cooler temperatures, as long as you're giving them the right water, food, and shelter. And here at our homestead, we do feed them nature serve, which is really great because it offers a great mixture for egg layers, as well as offering up some essential oils that are really great and nutritious for them. And it adds in all the vitamins that they need in order to have a healthy lifestyle. But I said that they're not only great for laying eggs because they are considered a dual purpose chicken. This means that they are not only great for their large amount of eggs that they're going to lay, but also because they are going to get to a pretty great meat size, anywhere from four pounds as a female to five pounds as a male. And that's give or take dependent on their diet lifestyle and just dependent on that specific hen. That's all great and dandy, but let's talk a little bit about what they actually look like and their personality. So first off, in regards to what the bird looks like, I think they're a beautiful bird and they come in a few different colors. So I'll throw up some examples of Easter eggers here. We again have a few at our homestead and absolutely love them because not only are they a beautiful bird, but they have a really great personality and temperament. Personality wise, they're a very friendly bird when we come into our chicken yard they'll run up greet us they can be a lap chicken and they're just really friendly if you have treats <laughs> you put them out in your hand they'll definitely come up grab them from you they're great with children because of their friendly personality so they love children because they're a very friendly bird and then children are going to love them so if you do have kids in your household really great bird for that in regards to adding them to a flock, they are definitely a friendly bird. So they're gonna get along with a lot of other birds. We integrated our Easter eggers into an already pre-existing flock and it worked out really well. One thing to note is that they're not gonna be super aggressive. So if there is a more aggressive bird, they definitely can beat down on them. So kind of watch when you add them in, kind of see what that pecking order is and just make sure everything's looking good there personality wise. Also in regards to personality, they are going to not be a broody chicken. So we don't have any roosters here at our homestead. So that works out really well for us because we don't need eggs to be hatched out. But if that is something that you're looking for, they're not going to be a great broody bird to hatch out their eggs. You might have just one, a black sheep version that is broody, but they're not really known to be super 
broody. All in all, we definitely love our Easter Eggers. I think that personality-wise, they're amazing. They're a great hardy bird, especially living in the Northeast of the United States. We definitely wanted a bird that'd be able to take the colder temperatures as well as the hot in the warmer July, August months. And the Easter Eggers have definitely thrived in this temperature and this type of weather and climate. So really happy with them. We do free range our Easter Eggers and they're really great at free ranging, but they can also be set up in a confinement area. So if you are looking to just keep them in an area, just make sure that you add some fun things for them to do so that they don't get super bored. But overall, we've really loved having them. I hope this is helpful. And if you like videos like this and you want to learn more about a specific breed of chickens, then definitely comment down below and we can look at getting that out for you. Have a good day. We'll see you again again next time. Bye.